Well, hello there. Some fish are here. Another uh, nighttime dog walk. And catwalk. Well, the cat was with us somewhere. Oh, he's right up there now. <laughs> Probably can't see him. Anyway. I know I've been a bit quiet lately. I've been working on a couple of things. Um, my new series of epics. Epics was maybe alien tech. Along with, uh, I was going to do one on targeted individuals, but Maverick Files has just released a video on that. It's, actually, it's excellent. It's probably better than my, <laughs> what my job would be. So I thought I'd uh, thought I'd link it be below. It's a really really good video. It saves me a job. <laughs> As he pretty much says, but I would I would have said it anyway. Anyway, what are you eating? You stop chomping. Stupid animal. It's just a quick one this and it's about uh Wait, why are you chomping? It's about the attack in Russia, obviously. Because this has brought up some old, old sort of, well, look, Xerxes. Hello, Xerxes. <laughs> obviously not speaking. Anyway, <laughs> it's brought up some something I've covered before quite a lot and that's the uh, the use of red cells to enact terrorist actions that are then blamed on a terrorist organisation isn't it funny how ISIS is immediately thrown into the mix as soon as all this happens them that have been blamed, Islamo-terrorism. Hmm. Well, forgive me if I'm wrong, right? But wasn't ISIS wiped out, supposedly? Trump said so himself. Biden said so himself. Here they are. Hmm. Strangely, it doesn't fit the bill. ICC either. It's not their usual um their usual MO. These guys are after causing chaos and then escaping. I don't think capture was really part of their uh, part of their plan. Yeah there they are. Captured. It does make you think. I've mentioned, well I've done the whole, whole bleeding series on the concepts of red cells and state-sponsored terrorism. It doesn't just apply to false flags. It applies to actions multinationally. Basically because there's plausible deniability, especially when they use mercenaries. Mercenaries like Al-Qaeda, for instance. Make no mistake, this wasn't the work of Ukraine, this wasn't the work of Israel, this wasn't the work of, of anyone really. Hello, Zerky. Where are you going? Bye bye then. <laughs> this was the work of red cell organisations working for a now extremely rogue intelligence community. Extremely rogue. Seeing as if they've kind of gone off the rails, so to speak. This isn't just one 
particular demographic it never has been it's never really been one religion either that's involved so we've been a group of highly trained highly specialized and highly secretive intelligence organizations that are no longer really bound to any state, so to speak. All work is one. All for the same goal, really. You can expect more of these until they get what they want. is all out, all out war, world war. This is yet another salvo, another coordinated attack by the same organization. Call them what you want. But at the end of the day, the multinational multi-ethnic, multifaceted, we're all working together. So ignore the claims that Putin did this as a false flag. Ignore the claims that, oh God, it's the Jews. Ignore the claim that it's ISIS. Because ISIS don't exist. Never have. Start thinking of them as one entity. And one that transcends all different mediums. From military red cell units to cyber warfare. Size in PSY, bro. <laughs> the internet warfare or rather electronic warfare and psychological units have pretty much just one and the same now. They're all both work in tandem along with the MSM. They're part of it as well, as we all know. Then you get big tech involved and there you go. I'll leave a link below to my CVs. My, my series Media Mind Space Manipulation, so you know you got what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, mate. Uses their own documents, it's all proven. It's up to you whether you, you watch it or not and take it in. Well, this is what we're dealing with. Not any one group in particular. Anyway, that's all I've got to say. Okay, see you later.